Good day, Grade Fours, and welcome to our Social Sciences lesson. Today's topic is Grid References. Grid is a pattern of straight lines that are drawn over a map. Grids help us find things on the map quicker. A map with grid has lines that are drawn over it. The spaces between the lines are given numbers along the top and letters down the side of the map. These numbers and letters give us the grid references. I found a beautiful picture of a map there. And the first important thing is to realize that letters are written in the spaces between the lines down the side of the map and numbers are written in the spaces between the lines along the top on the map. Usually when I give you this type of map, I would prefer for you to familiarize yourself with the map. What do I mean by that? Take a look at your key and familiarize yourself with where all these are placed on the map before you read questions. There are things that look familiar to you on the map, but if you check on your key list, they are given a specific name. Let's now practice. Let's practice. Okay, here is the same map appearing and it's got grid and your alphabets are appearing over there and your numbers are appearing over there. Before you read your questions, you would have looked at your keys on the left, familiarize yourself with the symbols and the names and check on the map where everything else is before you read questions. Then once you're done familiarizing yourself with the map, then you read the question. The first question is, give the grid reference, give the grid references for the following. A, the hospital. You're then going to go back to your key and find the hospital. And then go to your map and find the hospital. It's over there. Now you have to give the grid reference for the hospital. When we give the grid reference, we usually start with the alphabet. And then we follow with the number. So first you check which, um, which alphabet the symbol is aligned to. And then you check what number the symbol is aligned to. In this case, the hospital is on C1. And you write C1 over there. The next one, give the grid references for the police station. You go back to your key. You find the police station is over there. Okay. And then you try and find it on the map. It is over there on the map. Different students do this differently. Student A would take a pencil and draw a line away from the symbol towards the letter or the alphabet. So they would take a pencil and draw a line going across and it would be on C. And then they'll draw another line going towards the number and they would make sure that it's a three. Then they give the correct answer, which is C3. Remember, you have to start by giving the alphabet, then you can give the number. And the way to remember this is by remembering that your name is more important than your age. Okay. The third one is the school. The school is over there. And... Some students would, again, take a pencil, 
draw a line towards D because the school is over there and I know that the school is over there because I've checked my symbol on the key and I draw a line towards D. I know that the letter is D and I can actually go and put D and then find the number. Then I draw a line going up to the number and it's one and the correct answer would be D1 over there. Some students would prefer counting. They'd say, okay, I see that my school is in line with letter D. And then they count the block, one. So then they find D1. Let's apply this on our previous um, question. One that says, give the grid references for the police station. Some students would say, okay, I see the police station is over there and it is in line with alphabet C. So I'm going to count the blocks towards it. And then they go one, two, three. And then they go and put C3. So it all depends. Some prefer drawing a line and some prefer finding the alphabet first and then counting towards the symbol. It's not always I should find a question saying give the grid reference. Some questions would ask you to give the symbol. So they give you the grid reference and they say, tell us what symbol is there. For example, this question says, where would you be going if you went to the following grid references? D4. Where would you be going if you were going to D4? Hey, again, some students would go, okay, I'm going to take a pencil and draw a line towards D4. And then when they see four at the top, they then draw a line going up and then they know that, okay, that's where I am. And then they go and find the symbol on the key. So they would be at the village rendezvous. Now, be very careful of this because some students would go, okay, here we are, D four and then they say d they find their d and then they start counting one two three and then when they get to their fourth um grid reference then they will know that it's d four but now the mistake that you usually do is that you conclude that oh i think those are hats and then you write hats then that's when you will get this incorrectly and that's why it's very important to always go back to your key and make sure the name of the symbol which you have discovered on D4. The next question says, C2, where would I be going if I am on grid reference C2? I find C and I count 1, 2. And I see that symbol over there and I don't know what it is because it is red little blocks. But I can confirm by going to my key and saying, okay, there I see red little blocks and it means houses. So that means if I am in C12, I am in houses. Our final question, A3, where would I be going if I am in A3? I find my letter A over there and I count one, two, three. Or I find my letter A and I draw a line and make sure that I get to three over there and I see that symbol. I cannot take a wild guess of what that symbol is. I have to go to my key and confirm that it is mosque. And then I put my correct answer there mask. That's it for our practice. Let's now move on. Activities and you will be using your Platinum SS textbook. You will be focusing on page 30 and page 31. Activity 7 is based on a grid reference system. Okay, so you you were not given a specific map. 
you were literally given a grid reference system with symbols okay so in your textbook on page 30 there's um, a grid reference system with a b c d going down and one two three four five going across and the symbols there that are placed nicely in boxes now these symbols have a key and the key is also appearing on my PowerPoint here, okay? And please make sure that you confirm each symbol by looking at the key before you answer any questions. Uh, the heading for activity seven is use a grid reference system. Please slow down and familiarize yourself with the symbols appearing on key familiarize yourself with the grid reference system that's given to you on page 30 before you attempt answering once you have familiarized yourself with these you may now go and read questions and answer remember to write your date and underline activity 7 in the heading and underline and answer question 1 a b c and question 2 a and b Question one says, what symbol do you find in grid reference A4? Okay, that means you will go to your grid reference um, system and find A4. And look at the symbol carefully. Go back to your keys, find the symbol, okay? Then write the correct name for it. Please don't take a wild guess that it's a mailbox, okay? Because that's not what it says on our key. It says post office on our key. And that's just your first answer. I've given that for you for free. All right. Once you've finished activity seven, you rule off. And then you focus on activity eight, which is on page 31. Your heading is draw and use a grid. You are always given instructions basically on your heading. By reading the heading, you already know that you are going to draw in that case you need a ruler and you need a pencil and i'm going to read these questions for you so that i give you more clarity question one says okay before i start reading remember you are you have ruled off and you have written down activity eight and you have written down the heading draw and use a grid and you have underlined your heading and now you're ready to read the questions Number one says, copy the grid below carefully. Use half a page. Okay, there's a reason why they say use half a page. Because you need enough space to draw. Okay? It says, make sure you copy the numbers and letters correctly. They go in the spaces and not at the end of the lines. Okay? Um, and they've given you a beautiful beautiful drawing there to copy nicely please make sure that it is half a page all right here is why question two says copy any four symbols from the key above into any four of the empty blocks on your grid you'd have drawn a beautiful grid nice and big okay and now you have to look at these keys sorry, the key to find these symbols. Look at them carefully and choose four of your favorite. So if I were to do this, I'll choose four of my favorites, which would be post office, it would be post office, school, petrol station, and library. And I would place these onto my drawing. One symbol, sorry, sorry about that, one symbol, per grid okay very 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 important please make sure that you do that please don't repeat one symbol twice then there's a question you are not done there's a question question three list your symbols and write the correct grid references next to each one please don't write the grid references inside the box okay underneath your um, grid reference system you may answer question three and for your homework,